Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're diving into a hot topic that's been on the minds of many gamers and PC enthusiasts, NVIDIA GeForce RTX versus GTX GPUs. Which is better? If you're thinking about upgrading your graphics card or building a new PC, this is the video you definitely don't want to miss. We're going to break down everything from gaming performance to productivity use, and by the end of this review, you'll know which GPU series offers the best value for your money. So, let's get started. If you're familiar with NVIDIA's GPU lineup, you know that the GeForce RTX series is their latest and greatest, packed with high-tech features like ray tracing and DLSS, or deep learning super sampling. These features are meant to provide a much more realistic gaming experience. The GTX series, on the other hand, is a bit older, but don't let that fool you. It's still a very capable option for gamers who don't need all those extra bells and whistles. The GTX series is more about solid, reliable performance at a more affordable price. Before we dive deep into the benchmark results, let's talk about the key differences between these two. The RTX cards, like the RTX 4060 or RTX 4070, come with that fancy ray tracing tech, which helps create stunning lighting, shadows, and reflections in games. If you've ever played a game with ray tracing on, you know how much of a difference it can make. Meanwhile, the GTX cards, such as the GTX 1660T or GTX 1650, offer great performance for gaming at 1080p, but they don't support ray tracing. This means you'll still get excellent gameplay, but you'll miss out on some of the visual enhancements that make newer games look so incredible. Now, if you're a gamer looking to get the most out of your rig, the RTX series is the clear winner in terms of graphics quality. When we tested games like Cyberpunk 2077 with ray tracing enabled, the difference between the RTX and GTX was obvious. The RTX cards just look smoother, with more lifelike reflections and lighting. If you're playing AAA games at 1440p or even 4K, the RTX series will absolutely give you a better experience, with higher frame rates and better overall performance, especially in graphically demanding titles. But hey, don't just take my word for it, let me know in the comments. Which GPU are you running right now? Are you Team RTX? Or are you more of a GTX fan? And hey, if you're enjoying this so far, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future reviews. So, if you're wondering how these two stack up in real-world usage, here's what we found. For casual gamers who are mostly into less demanding games or games that don't use ray tracing, the GTX 1660T and even the older GTX 1650 are still more than capable. For titles like Fortnite, Apex Legends, or Valorant, these GPUs offer solid performance at 1080p with high settings and consistent frame rates. But when you step into the world of modern games with ray tracing or higher resolutions, the RTX cards quickly start to pull ahead. In our benchmark tests, the difference was clear. The RTX 4060 outperformed the GTX 1660T by a huge margin, about 30 to 40% faster in most gaming tests. If you're thinking about jumping to 1440p or even 4K gaming, the RTX 4060, RTX 4070, or higher tier models will give you a much smoother experience. So, if you're all about those high-end, ultra-graphic settings, the RTX series is really where it's at. But if you're sticking to 1080p gaming and want to save some money, the GTX cards still deliver excellent value. Speaking of value, let's talk about productivity. If you're someone who does a lot of content creation, video editing, or 3D rendering, the RTX series offers some serious advantages. The extra power from the CUDA cores, as well as the AI-enhanced features like DLSS, really make a difference. For example, when editing 4K video or working in creative apps like Blender, the RTX cards make those tasks much faster and more efficient. The GTX cards, while still powerful, just don't have the same level of AI-enhanced acceleration. So, if you're into things like video production or graphic design, an RTX card can save you a lot of time. Now, let's break down the pros and cons of both the RTX and GTX cards. Let's start with the RTX series. One of the big pros of the RTX cards is their ray tracing technology. If you're playing games that support ray tracing, like Control or Battlefield 5, you'll see a night and day difference in the visual quality. The lighting looks more realistic, 
the reflections are sharper, and the whole game feels more immersive. Another huge benefit is DLSS, which boosts performance by upscaling lower resolutions without a noticeable drop in image quality. This means you can enjoy higher frame rates even in the most demanding games. Also, if you're into content creation, the RTX cards are built for that, thanks to the extra CUDA cores and Tensor cores that speed up video rendering, 3D modeling, and more. But it's not all perfect. The price is definitely a downside with the RTX series. These cards are more expensive, especially the higher-end models like the RTX 4070 or 4080. Plus, with that extra power comes higher power consumption, so you'll need a more powerful PSU for these cards to run at their best. And while they're great for high-end gaming, the value for money isn't as strong as it could be for budget-conscious gamers who don't need ray tracing. On the other hand, the GTX series has a few key pros that make them great for specific users. The most obvious one is the price. The GTX cards are significantly cheaper than their RTX counterparts, making them ideal for gamers on a budget. The GTX 1660T, for instance, provides excellent 1080p performance and handles older games and esports titles with ease. Another plus is lower power consumption, which means you don't need to worry about upgrading your power supply if you're building a mid-range PC. However, the cons of the GTX series become clearer when you look at newer, more demanding games. Since they lack ray tracing support, they don't offer the same level of realism as RTX cards. Also, they're not as future-proof, so as new games start utilizing more ray tracing effects, the GTX cards will begin to struggle, and you may find